Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Manodestra777, and we're back inside of Destiny. Here with your weekly reset video for Tuesday, March 29th, 2016. We're going to take a look right here. We are in the Black Garden, and we are going to go kill the Undying Mine in the Nightfall. This week, let's take a look at the active modifiers. We have Arc Burn, Small Arms, Juggler, and Exposure. So this is kind of an interesting Nightfall. Uh, I love the Arc Burn piece of this, but um, and Small Arms as well. Uh, the Zalos Supercell is definitely going to be your weapon of choice for this particular uh, Nightfall this week because Small Arms, it's really the only weapon in Year 2 of Destiny that has is a primary weapon and has arc burn um, exposure is going to be a little bit more tough uh, you're going to have increased shields but they do not replenish so my recommendation to you is to bring a sniper rifle that has arc burn possibly a sword i like to use uh, a sword for my heavy weapon especially when i'm facing the boss in this uh, nightfall because there's a lot of times you're gonna be up close and personal with the uh, spawn the spawning ads that come in and so I like to use those to clear them out but the Zalos supercell is going to be your primary weapon of choice guys so that is the nightfall for this week let's go take a look at everything else there is to do in destiny this week last week we had the Golgoroth challenge mode in the King's Fall Raid, so that means that this week it is Oryx. The Oryx uh, challenge mode, whether you do it on hard or normal, is going to be essentially where you have to detonate all 16 orbs at the same time to kill Oryx. I have a video on how to do this on my Twitch live streams. It's very cool. I love doing it this way. This actually makes it really uh, a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of people used to use some different methods to use this, but the best way I've found to do this is to put two titans in the middle with uh, defender bubbles and make sure that they have weapons of light and blessing of light with illuminated and bastion on their shields with touch of malice to take out the different ogres and uh, help kill the knights if you are doing it on hard mode um, if you do this on normal mode you will get weapons up to 310 a uh, calcified fragment as well as an emblem uh, if you do it on hard you are going to get uh, gear up to 320 uh, a calcified fragment the ship and the emblem uh, you will get primary weapons from this as well as the helmet guys that is the king's fall raid if you do the court of oryx your tier 3 boss this week is going Going to be Thalnok, the fanatic of Crota, which is essentially just a Crota boss fight. Make sure you bring a lot of weapons to take down his shields, and then you use the sword uh, from the sword knight that comes in, knock out the fanatic of Crota, and life is all good, guys. So those are the things you can do here on the Dreadnought. This week we have Mayhem Rumble in the spot until 12 o'clock uh, my time, uh, 10 o'clock Bungie time, where we will be having Iron Banner this week. It has not spawned in yet, um, but we are going to be having Iron Banner this week, and it is going to be Control. This week you're going to be able to get Hand Cannons, Machine Guns, you're going to be able to get Chest Armor, and gauntlets for all of your characters uh in addition you will be able to if you're on playstation get the playstation exclusive gauntlets guys and in the games uh, you will be also be able to get chest pieces hand cannons gauntlets playstation gauntlets and machine guns so if you want some information on uh, how to rank up in iron banner the fastest um, i'm going to post a link in my description to my iron banner videos where it talks about how to do that in year two essentially just a quick overview it, it, it's basically well, if you level up one character up to rank Rank five. All your subsequent qu characters after that are going to be easier to rank up to rank five and get your uh, get all your items and your bounties and everything like that completed. Uh, for today's co uh, competitive multiplayer, it's salvage. The daily heroic story is follow Skolas into Vex territory to aid in his capture for the queen. Uh, of course, you can always do a vanguard heroic strike. Uh, that will, you'll get three of those, and you'll get ten legendary marks for each one of those you do, and legendary 
your engrams. You have three opportunities to do that. Uh, guys, if this is ever the Black Spindle mission, which is the Lost to Light mission, uh, where you have to descend into the Hellmouth to steal a piece of Crota's soul, uh, come and check out my Twitch live streams because we do uh, Black Spindle carries. I think we are up to about, with my team, we are over probably 290 black spindles acquired for people who are having problems with that particular mission so swing by my twitch live streams we also help people out with the king's fall raid and everything else like that guys but i wanted to give you a quick overview that is your weekly reset for destiny 2000 16 for March 29th. If you found something in this video to be useful, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for more Destiny content. Uh, leave a comment. Let's me know that the content I am bringing to you is something that is interesting and something that you find useful, guys. But I will see you next time in the universe of Destiny.